Hey guys, so you've heard me talk about drop-in blog and how easy it was for me to add onto my Kartra website um, or whatever website it is that you're using, but I've had a few questions about the SEO. How does the SEO ranker work? How does it compare to using Yoast? And I thought you could make that decision for yourself and I will just run through my process of adding a blog post using drop-in blog and show you exactly step-by-step -step how the SEO analysis works. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And you'll see just how easy and straightforward it is to use something like drop in blog. So straight up, it loads the blog post page. All you have to do is scroll down and click add post. But just a minute, I want to show you that I already have a few blog posts in here and the SEO rating is given straight on the page. 100 out of 100 for some of these. This one needs a link, so it's been downgraded a little bit. So you know exactly which posts you need to go look at. It also comes with a free pre-programmed blog post that teach you about how to use drop-in blog. I've deleted most of those, but I left this one in here just so that I could point it out to you. Read through this blog. It's going to teach you how to use the SEO analyzer yourself. Okay, let's get started and we're going to add a post. Okay, so this is what the add new post editor looks like. And straight away here on the left, you can see that my SEO score is zero because there's absolutely nothing in here yet. So I've already copied and pasted my text. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's grab the text. And even though I've pasted it in here, my SEO score is still zero. And that's because I don't have a post title yet. That is going to be the most important thing. But before I do that, I just want to scroll down and show you what the SEO analysis actually looks like. So to start with, you need a primary keyword. This blog post is all about virtual assistants, so I'm going to type that in. And you saw my SE score was raised a little bit because it matched some of the things that I had in my blog post. I still don't have a title yet, so this is how it's going to look on Google. Now I'm going to go down here and put what is a virtual assistant that's raised my score as you can see to 70 and if I scroll down it's already put it in the SEO page title it's gonna give you some little hints some things that you can try to do it's gonna give you your overall SEO score and then it'll break it down into categories so my page title score is only 85 because it's a little bit short so I'll probably add something to that I don't have a meta description yet so that's at zero the content itself is at 71, so it's going to tell me what I, some things that I need to do. For example, the focus keyword virtual assistant doesn't appear in the slug. Well, I haven't added that part yet. Um, it tells me that I've got at least 300 words, I've got text, um, the focus keyword is actually in the title, which is the H1 of the page. My keyword density is 2%, pretty perfect, meaning I've used the word virtual assistant a few times in the actual article. These three are about images. So one, you should have an image. The image should be named essentially the same as your post title or at least contain your keyword. And then the image description should also have that information. And as well, we need to have links in our blog posts. You want to link your page. You want to link other websites. Google likes when we share. So let's scroll up. I'm going to go ahead and make a few adjustments to my blog post, and then I will show you my SEO analysis after that. Okay, so I've already gone ahead, cleaned up a few things, and now I'm ready to add my image. This is an image that is on my computer, so I'm going to upload it. And I have already made sure that I have named the image appropriately. So the name of the image reflects the title of my blog post, which has my focus keyword in it. Now to upload that from my computer, I'll just click that. It's this one here. Let it upload and we're ready to insert and then change the image description, which is the alternate tag. This is going to be something along the lines as well that has my focus keyword inside of it. So what is a virtual assistant pin? Because I'm using my Pinterest pin. Let's try that. See what happens. I press OK. You see my score goes up to 93. And if I scroll down, I've added an image. I've used the focus keyword in the file name. And I've also used the focus keyword in the alternate description of the image. The last thing is to add links to other relevant pages on my website. So as I develop more blogs and develop my website out, I will be able to go back to the blogs, add links to them to different pages or different places in my website, which will make Google very happy. But all through and through, we can see that my overall score is 93. I'm pretty happy with that right now, and I'm ready to post. And that's literally how.
how easy it is to build an SEO friendly blog post using drop in blog. I'm at my five minute mark now. So get to it. Let me know if you have any questions.